It was a monumental moment for the state of Arizona as educators voted to walk out of their classrooms. But now it's leaving districts in southern Arizona rushing to make sure students are safe. Because this is unprecedented, we really don't have a system that's set to, to know exactly what this will look like. We know that the, the um, superintendents throughout the state are working to make sure that kids will be safe. Um, and above that, we don't know for sure. Ahorita Superintendent Manuel Valenzuela sent out a letter to parents and said in part, I acknowledge the very real issues regarding state investment in Arizona's public schools. I do not believe that a walkout is an appropriate strategy to remedy those issues. As for other districts, they say they will remain open. Tucson Unified it says food service and transportation will remain available for students. They will redeploy some district staff to schools to assist with supervision. Over at Sunnyside, they say participation may vary depending on school sites. Transportation routes will continue for schools that remain open, but instruction will be limited based on available personnel. The majority of schools say they will have the state requirement to finish 180 days of school in a year. If students miss, they will need to make it up. As for middle and high school graduations, those dates are still set. We asked Freeds if they will continue to strike throughout the year. You know, we're, we're not really sure. We're focusing right now on our walk-ins. We're focusing on um, having the governor meet with the real educators. Freed says there's two things educators want. Include all educators in the teacher race and infrastructure. Buildings that are literally crumbling. crumbling. Uh, we have books that are older than our students. And so when we have that environment, just looking at one group's salary increases is simply not enough. And there will be walk-ins on Monday through Wednesday. The walkouts are set for Thursday. We have more information on more districts, including Marana and Saurita, on our website, kega9.com. Stella. Jenny, thank you. Governor Doug Ducey vetoing 10 bills today to support raising teacher pay. That is according to the Arizona Republic. Each veto letter ended the same way. Please send me a budget that gives teachers a 20% raise by 2020 and restores additional assistance, quote unquote. Today's vetoes come after thousands of teachers voted to reject his pay increase plan and they're going to strike, they say, on Thursday. So far, the governor's office has not set up a meeting with education leaders who are calling for a strike. We'll continue to follow this story as teachers get closer to Thursday's walkout. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter and on the KGUN 9 app for the very latest.